Hi guys, this is Norma. Um, today I want to do a review of Trek Knowing, which is sometimes referred to as Retin A, and also um, Clindamycin. So I started using both products in the early part of July. We're almost in August. So I kind of wanted to give a... Um, uh, outlook on my face how it looks right now and what I plan to do is give an interview every three months so for those of you who have not used it before or you're in the beginning stage of using it that you can kind of have a good idea of whether it really works or not now I've watched a lot of reviews from people that Come use on, uh, track knowing and clindamycin most of them have really okay. good reviews and um <clears throat> I also learned a lot before I started using the product myself, and I learned how um, you should not go heavy on the products when you first use them, and you should not start out using them every single day. Okay. Um, you should use a pea-sized amount for any area of the body that has the acne, and gently rub it in, and allow, you know, it to stay there overnight or whatever. Come on. And uh, the dermatologist also recommended the same thing, yeah. not to start with using a heavy amount, just a pea-sized amount on any area of the body needed. So that's what I have done. One thing I've learned in life, always, strict, always stick to the rules. If you do not stick to the rules, it can have negative side effects. Okay, so most people have experienced um, severe redness. Look uh, worse acne uh, breakouts and peeling of the skin. Come on, I so got him. I got the whole uh, thing. Come I, on. I I I was like, I'm not about to do what they're doing because I noticed that majority of them were using an excessive amount, and I'm pretty sure their dermatologists told them otherwise. But a lot of people feel like the more of the product you use, oh, the better why, why results, I which I have learned through all the reviews Please. and all the research why? that that is not the way to go with cosmetic products. You want to use it according to the rules because more is not better. You're going to get the same results, but you can cut down on the side effects by using it the right way. So with the clindamycin, which is the 0.025%, start out at the lowest, and then slowly over a period of time increase the uh, percentage as well as how often you use it. So like I said, I started out in early uh, July of this month, and I used the clindamycin once in the morning, pea-sized amount on my face, chest, back, and neck area. And I uh, use the Trek Knowing, which is the 1%. And I use that at nighttime only. And uh, let it sit overnight. And I do uh, the Bensol Peroxide Deep Cleansing Soap Bar on my back, neck, chest, and face area. And I do that uh, twice a week. I do all of the products twice a week only. I do not use the benzoyl peroxide on the same day as I use the clindamycin and attract knowing. Can I, do that? I use the benzoyl peroxide cleanser Come on. the day after I use the clindamycin and attract knowing. And I only use all products uh, twice a week, that is. I use it on Mondays and Fridays. I have a set time and a set day that I use the products and that's what I'm going to stick to. And so also, I plan every month to increase the days by one day. I'm only going to, like right now it's twice a week and in August, I'm going to start using the products three times a week instead of twice a week. I'm going to continue to use pea size and I'll increase one day every month until I'm using it every day. But I will not use the benzoyl peroxide every day. So uh, it has been almost a month. It's like a week away from August. I have not noticed any peeling of the skin. I have not had any redness of my skin. And the only thing I have noticed is whenever I use the Trek Knowing and the benzoyl peroxide, if I go out 
in the sun that I can feel slight burning on my skin, but it's not bad. So, uh, yeah, I started using a lot of sunscreen whenever I used the uh, track knowing and a benzoyl peroxide. I know we use sunscreen whenever I go out. So that is about it. I'm going to do as close as I can on my face so that you guys will have an idea of what my skin looks like now. And then within a few months and every few months after that, you can kind of see how the track knowing and acclindamycin has improved my skin. So especially for African-American uh, people, you know, most people that use these products uh, are Caucasian. So you don't really see too many African-Americans using a product. I don't know why, but uh, maybe like not too many of them have acne as do other cultures. I'm not sure, but I have not seen very many African-Americans oh, using a product. This is, so, this is, this is so. my face close up. You can see right here the blackheads. I have a lot of blackheads. Uh, I don't know if the products will help that, but I'm surely going to have it removed one way or another. My forehead. You can see a little, some bumps here and there. They're not bad. Usually they get really worse if I put on makeup or any kind of skin products. Blackhead still. A lot of people tell me I already have a young looking face. And I heard that the um, okay, come on, let's go. Trek Noen is a anti-aging cream as well make you look younger so that's gonna be a plus to how i, I already look young Come i'm 32 years old i don't really have very much on my chest i do have a lot on my back which i'm not able to take my shirt off so on, i do have play. a lot of acne on my back but i'm 32 years old i'm hoping that this track no one is an anti-asian cream like a lot of people claim also, the dermatologist made the same assumption. So, that's going to be a plus if I can make myself look younger than I already look. So, uh, anyways, that's my review. I hope I was able to help some people out, especially African Americans who are, uh, does not commonly use those products. Hmm.